Okay, so this will be two videos I got cut off there. But uh, as I was saying, uh, you would think that the the uh, relay that's reading 240 volts would be good and the lower one would be the defective one. But in all reality, if you follow these wires back, the good um, relays will be, you will now be able to read the power at the um, element. So if we look, this element's obviously getting nothing. This element's getting nothing. And then these ones are going to be 240, respectively. And 240. So, here's the way we can test this. Do not leave it like this. This is just a test. You're going to take the L1 wire and cross it with the T1 wire. Obviously, shut your breakers off. This power can kill. But as you do that, you are effectively bypassing this relay, which now you can go back and the ones that would have been bad you could test. And I will pause and do that quickly for you. Okay, now we did that. You can see that I have uh, now put the L1 to the T1 on both. Make sure the breakers were off when you did that. Now I'll turn my breakers back on. And now once everything turns on, we will see, hopefully, 240 volts on each. Um, on each element. So there's 240 on that one. Forty on that one. Two forty, and of course two forty. Okay, so now, again, do not leave it like that because if your pumps quit calling for heat, you will overheat your tank, and bad things will happen. So we need two new relays. I'm going to shut all my power back off. I got the relays. Um, um, you can get them from um, most plumbing stores. Um, just make sure you give them that number. It will may be different on yours, but it's a solid state relay. Um, and I will replace the relays and see if that repaired my issues. Of course, you want to ohm your um, elements to make sure that they match the specs that you could find on the manual, in the manual, or on the manual online. Okay, we did it. Now I checked all these, take my word for it, they're all 240. The new relays are in. They got a fancy light on the newer ones. Um, you can see my temperature already rising before I did this I could only get it to about 90 and it's climbing pretty fast it should go back to what it was beforehand and uh, the symptoms of this issue you're probably not going to see unless it's very cold outside two elements will keep your house relatively nice until it gets cold if two are not working you're never going to see this get up to where you want it so you know, if it's sitting around 90 degrees or 80 degrees or whatever, you probably know you either have a relay out, or like I said, there could be a element in which you would just have to ohm out the element. Um, the tolerances are in the manual. So, Thermalec boiler, boiler back up and going. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave a comment for me. Again shut your power off and under no circumstance leave um, your testing when you uh, put the wires together you need that relay 
or you could cause significant damage. Thanks for watching.